Hi, uh, this is Chris from Sally Forth, and today I'm going to be talking to you about my Blackstone Heath terrain project. Okay, so this uh, started with an inn, which is kind of very much a focal point of any sort of fantasy or, or historical village, really. So I've always been a big fan of terrain making. Um, in the past, I've written uh, terrain columns for magazines and I've been working on some modular terrain systems probably since I was about 15, 15 years old. So, um, two or three years ago I got a, a 3D printer, didn't know anything about it, a bit of a steep learning curve but now I think I've got a hang of it now and it churns stuff out in the background sort of most days and most nights of the week. So, a couple of years ago um, I backed a terrain project by um, Hobgoblin 3D, a local terrain company based in Cumbria, who uh, had a project called the Wobbly Goblin Inn. And it took them uh, probably 18 months, two years to actually sort of fulfil the Kickstarter, but I think that it was certainly worth um, waiting for. So this, um, this building was actually 3D printed very much like an Airfix kit. Lots of little parts that sort of, you know, sort of slotted, slotted together. And it took months and months to build. So whilst I was um, printing the bits out and gluing them together, I was sort of thinking about it and what I wanted to do with it and decided that rather than something that's just plonked on the on a no on a blanket or a cloth as a temporary structure, I really wanted um, scenery that was kind of integrated with the landscape, you know, with the roads and the you know, dirt and the, the grass, so that it looked like it was you know, sort of you know, in place and part of uh, no, part part of part no part of the landscape. So um, I, I, that's uh, where we've got to so far. So um, the inn has a complete interior which you can sort of game, you know, sort of game inside. Um, we've put some furniture and we're going to pop in there and have a look at what it looks like in, you know, inside. But for now, let's, uh, now let's have a, a spin around and have a look at uh, what the outside is like. So... The inn has actually been set into a two foot square terraformer module. So terraformers are kits to build modular terrain tiles. Um, and each of the terrain tiles has got some rare earth magnets in the side so that they lock on with the next ter terrain tile in the series and stops them from sort of drifting, drifting apart um, when they're being used. And the other feature of them is that there's a whole raft of different profiles. So this profile um, has obviously got some road, road sections. And by using these uh, indented profiles, it means that the roads are going to match up absolutely perfectly with any other road sections that sort of um, brought up with them. So here we are sort of uh, flying around and having a look at the at the, uh, at the back of the inn. So you can see we've got a nice courtyard. So it's got some sort of sections here that I've um, etched and engraved some stonework um, on a laser cutter. And you can see there's sort of plenty, pl no, sort of plenty of room for the inn to kind of grow a bit. And what I'm wanting to, wanting to do over the next three or four weeks is to add some orchards, gardens, stable, barn, all of the sort of things that you'd see around a coaching inn. So I don't know how it is with you, but sort of with me, projects tend to get a bit of a life of their own. And we sort of start off with one or two figures and then we've got an army or we start off with an inn and then we've got a city. So when I was building um, the modular terrain board and we thought, well, we'll have a road and then maybe there can be a sort of a T-junction here. And then after a bit of time doing that, I thought, well, you know, the village is going to be built around the inn. So why not have a project that lasts for, um, you know, for months, if not years, and you know, I really love the sort of 3D buildings and stuff that's being done by Principal Scenery, by um, you know, Hobgoblin and lots of other companies. So um, 
as their Kickstarter buildings come, come out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to 3D print them and I'm going to extend and grow around this as being the you know, sort of central point until we've got a whole village. So um, for point of reference, my uh, big war games table is 5 foot by 12 foot. Um, what my stated aim is at the moment is to grow the Blackstone Heath project so that we have a village that's got um, an inn, a uh, market square, there's some buildings, places of worship at one side and then it's got some sea cliffs and the Lord's Castle at the other end and some other sort of features, maybe a monastery or something sort of, no, in, no, sort of in between. And then when I've got enough scenery to um, to, no, to, to, to uh, fill that table, then it's going to evolve and the village is going to have improvements and it's going to sort of morph into a town and then maybe a city over a two to five year project. So that's the idea. Best not let my wife hear about that. So um, let's have a look inside and see, uh, see who lives here and uh, what, what the accommodation has to offer. Right, so let's take these pieces off and have a look at the inn underneath. So we've got a central bar area with the uh, innkeeper and his wife and the cellar men. So these are all Otherworld miniatures. Uh, most of the, the the scenery inside has, you know, a lot of it's been 3D printed. The bar, I think it's of three files off of Thingiverse. Then down at the so far end, we've got the uh, kitchen, sort of heart of the uh, catering operation. So we've got a, um, a Halfling cook and the old crone with the rolling pin. So they're they're all other world miniatures and the chef and the spit. I don't know, I've had them for about twenty years in my to do pile and uh, sort of recently recently put them together. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the the kitchen. So we've got plenty of um, of tables for the guests. And one of the things that well, I figured that there aren't very many. Um, seated sort of figures available. So a number of years ago, we actually uh, added to the Sunny Fourth range some seated miniatures for going inside our jousting and blood bowl stadium. So we've um, adjusted some of the sort of 3D seat files to make them fit exactly our seated crowd figures. So we've got lots of guests um, in the you know, in the inn. So looking around. Um, so sort of past the tables you can see sort of at the far end this is the uh, guests accommodation so we've got a, a, a number of beds and chests and uh, storage facilities and that sort of thing and uh, that's where the inn's guests stay and then just sort of looking outside so we've got a big courtyard and in the next video we're going to have a look at um, adding some more courtyard and some garden and orchard area and uh, working out from here.